Hello everybody and welcome back to Dawn of Man. Now we are at 19 people so far. Um, we are low on knives. Oh, well, that's a pretty good moment here just to continue with a few more knives. Here's a bone knives that we can still craft us a few of here. Um, and oh, probably. Oh no, the flint knife actually needs a stone polishing, so that's something else. We have 11 knowledge points, so we could go with the next tag right away. But I'd rather wait for a trader and see if he trades any tag here. And then I could just get the other ones, you know, so in that case. We could also go with dog training. Um, that gives us, oh well, that enables us for the gold domestication. But that is something in the Neolithic Age. Something that we don't have at the moment. Now, also, um, we do have some sledges here. I want to build... I want to build two more, or at least one more for now. Because they do need quite a lot of um, resources there, right? So we can have one here. And people then bring them over here to the transport post, as we can see, automatically anyway. Um, 19 people, that's pretty cool. We still have enough space, so if there's someone else coming in. And we also have now the first bows available here. So with the bows, we can finally do some more uh, dangerous hunting. So let's enable us our view here that we have so it should be much easier now for example to get another bear like this one here let's just hunt the bear and see how my people are doing there's also an adult female and the next human has been born so we have now 20 people in our settlement and we have also reached a new milestone expansion probably because we have more than 20 people now we should also get three more knowledge points with that and let's just hope that that is the case and yes, we have 13 knowledge points now. And I still want to see if anyone actually dares to hunt this deer here. And taking a bow with him, hopefully. Perhaps two people are coming for it. There are two people coming for it, right? And she's got a sling, but this one here got a bow and a harpoon. So that might be something. Let's just see how effective the bow is. I hope the bow is effective. Look at that. There are coming close in here now to th three of them actually and that was easy right so she shot with the bow there and i'm pretty sure that's why it was so easy now so we can really go for some higher quality animals there um i'm crafting some more bows here also the knives that is very important um perhaps do we have something else a flint knife might be a better options than for you know skinning better animals in that case mammoths i haven't seen so far i've seen one that is but that's it. There we have some donkeys. They were always really difficult to hunt. Let's get three of them. Also an Ibex. Perhaps something further away that we have than the Aurochs. There we can there we can really hunt now then I think because they are orange. I think they were red in the beginning. And now it should be easier. What we could also do is we could assign a hunting ground, right? So my people should then start hunting in the area. There's a mammoth and it's orange. It's not even red anymore. So it is possible now to hunt the mammoth. We know where it is. And once I have a bit better tag, because I really don't want to risk anyone dying, um, we could go for it, right? Over here, there are some animals. We could have the hunting grounds now. Hunting ground, there it is. And my people would then hunt in there. I hope they're not hunting the, 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 the young ones, though. That would be really bad. So over here, we haven't been here yet. Let's enable this one as the hunting ground then. So people can actually go there and hunt if they want to. If they feel like it. And tool-wise, it should be fine. We have 14 knowledge points. Actually, I would really love to go now. Come on, where's a trader? Hopefully we get a tech out of it. How's my village looking in general? The welfare has gone down a bit. It's at 82%, probably because of high workload. And prestige has gone up there as well with 20 points. Oh, the wild donkey has escaped once again. That's a pity. Fruits? What? Only now have we acquired 10 fruit for the knowledge? Okay. I'm a bit shocked at that. Haystack that we have. Pretty full, actually. 15 knowledge points. And there's also a bear just walking around in my village there. So where are my hunters? Kill it. We need to kill it. It's way too close to my village there. That's not good. We cannot put it on high priority to be killed though. So I think they will just do as they go. But he's not attacking anyone yet. Still. We should hunt him down. Probably. Also I want the knowledge points from him. 
and another four humans have joined us and with that we get even more knowledge we also have a new trader here but unfortunately once again they don't really have any tech for us um we have 25 people now here we still have space for five more people um pretty cool how fast it's growing right now we can make lots of tools and stuff like that um probably will and also yeah we'll go to the next age here i still want to chop down the trees here so i do i should have the work area here somewhere fortunately it's not that easy to see right the work areas there we have it let's chop it down more diligently because i want to to get rid of those trees there to have my fields then somewhere um oh yeah over here we also have a nice area but i rather have buildings here right because it's also a very protected area and the fields they can be out here and then we have some defense probably at some point that is that um where do we have more so we do have still the wild plants here we have the stone we have the tannin so there are people working here everywhere and as we can see here the wild plants actually there's several areas of this one here now sticks is fine but the wild plants let's get rid of the other work areas there it's probably then using too many people in this area here and that isn't good as well and down here by the lake since we do have so many people i rather want to have another fishing area so we do already have a fishing work area here so here we can have another one now as we can see on the banks here there is not that much fish in here right here we have way more fish and in that case we can oh also mud amount i don't know what mud we need for yet but in that case here there's plenty of it and the fish as well so we can fish a bit more. We don't have that much fish in store here. Only five, but we have so much meat. It probably doesn't even matter if we don't have that much fish. Um, yeah, we do have 20 knowledge points. The traders are not delivering us any technology. So let's just go with the next tech here that we can go with. So that is the pulse processing that we have now. So this is required for the cereal domestication. With that, we would then reach the Neolithic age already. Stone polishing. This is for the bone polishing... Yeah, I don't know if we really need it so far because the next tech would then be here, the Copper Age, where we need something for it. As well, the underground mining. This one here gives us then mining. Tin mine, the iron mine. Actually, pretty good. Fortifications is something with the next age we could get then as well. And the gold domestication. And probably, where's the, the living though? Weaving? Something where I can improve my housing? Thatching, there it is. This enables us the hut then, the next best building, right? So we have the pulse processing now. Let's just see what that really is about. Perhaps there is a new building with it. In the production. Nope, we don't have anything here though. So it's really just allows you to harvest wild pulses and cook them. Okay, that's really it. We probably will get a knowledge point with that though. And we need two more knowledge points and then we can actually advance. And another human was born. So there are quite a lot of humans that are being born now all the time. Um, we still have three more space. But I think it's safe to say that we need more huts then. Perhaps we can... Yeah, let's build one more tent. And then I'm going to actually wait so we can build some huts. That is probably then the next best thing that we can do. Here, the space is kind of depleted. We could still have another tent here if we want to. Let's have another tent here. Right. And another human was born. Oh, I'm a bit worried now. Are we not getting a few too many people here coming in now with the born mechanic? Those kids are running around then everywhere here. And knowledge points, we have 15 now. So finally, we can advance to the next age, the Neolithic age, which is probably the last age um, with a name or with an age where human hasn't really been that significant. And with the copper age, we're really starting things to, to, to ramp up then. Let's go with it. And there we have it. Surreal domestication. We have acquired it. We have the Neolithic now. Um, cereal domestication allows you to plant and harvest cereals, unlocking the Neolithic Age. It dramatically increases the amount of people you can reliably feed every year. One of the most important texts in the history of mankind. Farming. There we have it now. That has been, up, uh, has been added with a recent update as well. So farming allows you to automate the production of food and sustain more people in your settlement. You can plant a variety of crops, then harvest and process them to feed your people. Beautiful. That is pretty cool. So, for the building. First of all, we do have another plants here. So that we can see um, the plants that we have. Um, that we can then plant. And here, in the building, we should then have something for production like the farms. Or, are the farms actually being then... I think gradually built, right? So if I go now here with the barley, for example. Do I need to place it myself? 
Oh, like this, I see. Oh, okay, very good. I can then, you know, lay out my farms. So we still have a few trees here. Let's get rid of them. So that we get the first farms then here in this area there. This one is freezing rather, but he's really not wearing that much. You should probably, you should probably wear some more clothes. Flint has been exhausted once again. So in that case, the flint... Where do we have more flint? Over there. It's far away, actually. I hope we don't need flint for that much long anymore. Even though we still have nine flint available, so that's fine. But I'm really excited for the farming now. As we can see, chopping down the wood, uh, the trees there immediately. And he can carry all the logs himself then with the sledge. Um, here we also have the chopping down. No one is chopping down those trees here. I think they're only doing it with demand. So I have to do it myself if I want to get it done now. And there we have the barley. So let's start with the barley, shall we? Up here, we can have our first barley field. And there we have it. Our first farm, just where we have our mortar then, where we can process it. Um, here we can still have a few more buildings then. And of course, we can always get rid of it again later, you know, if we don't need it for, uh, don't need the farm anymore here. So hopefully my people are then going for it. And the barley, the einkorn, and the ammar we still have. So ammar, we could also, once we get rid of those trees here, plant it here in this area. And look at that, the kids are actually also starting to start growing the field there. That's pretty cool. Winter is over. Gerenzo, oh no, Gerenzo has died. One of our first settlements. Old man, he has died of old age. He's being brought now. <laughs> He's being brought now to the burial mound. Poor Gerenzo. Yeah, up to the mountain there. May he rest in peace. We actually already have one here. This one gives us a prestige level. I didn't know that. The burial mounts there. Alright. So now, as we can see, he was very popular amongst the people. And thus, they like to pray to him for now. Alright. Look at that. The field is pretty busy out here. So people are really digging it. If you get my meaning. And in that case, we have only the first one here. The barley. So we want to get more. The emmer that we have then... Ah, nah, that's not a good, it's not a good location. Perhaps we have it in here. There needs to be actually quite a lot of space there, between each field. All right, let's get rid of this birch here and this one and this one. All right, and a trader has arrived. No new attack, as far as I can see. Nothing that we would really need. Pulses, I don't know. Don't think so. So those traders are pretty lame, because we get everything ourselves anyway. Right, the next chopping down is happening. Do we actually have space for all these logs? No idea. And for the knowledge points, since we have so many new things, you know, the thatching is the, yeah, the next better one here. Because then we can finally go with huts. Also masonry, granary, weaver, outfitter. So lots of big buildings are connected with this tag. The well digging, well, we still have the lake just beside us. I don't think we'll need that for quite some time here. Stilting gives us the bridge. We don't have any rivers, so we don't really need that at the moment. And then here we could go with more domestication of more plants. And here then also with animals. So once we have, I think, yeah, stables or something like that. There are stables, for example, in the thatching. So once we have unlocked those things, we might then actually go with some domestication of animals as well. There, the next trees are going down. What are you carrying around here? Seriously, what are you doing? He, oh, he's a trader. My bad. I thought it was a, one of my guys here. Right, there we have a bit of space. Let's go with the ammo that we can then have here. Another nice little field that we can plant over here now. Right? So those, of course, is only the beginning of farming. I will get rid of them again at some point and have a dedicated space for them. But for now, it should be fine. Um, and since the chopping of trees is finished here now, I don't need to do that any longer. I would like to do some more chopping here. For that, we will need more storage, though, for our logs. So let's get some more wood piles that we can then have, yeah, over here. 
right so four more and that's exactly for those trees here i'm going to leave some trees though like this one here probably this one here too this one can definitely go away so I'd rather do that one by one because i can then decide what tree gets to live and what i want to chop down we definitely need some space though in that case actually let's keep this one there yeah it's a beautiful tree but let's get rid of those trees here that are around it right and this one can stay this one can stay this one can stay so they're done more like giving us shades and stuff like that this is a pear tree i don't want to get rid of this one though because it gives us some fruits there so we need to be very careful there with the <laughs> with the cutting down the trees and i just love how everyone is actually rushing to the fields Right, they're all rushing forward to it and um, planting the crops there. So I think nothing is happening now. We still have it in spring. Um, watering, perhaps they need to do that. No idea. And yeah, we do have a haystack. I will probably want another haystack though, because we have two types of crops here now. So having another haystack then for the other type of crop might actually make sense, right? So let's have that over here then as well. And comes summer, comes the storm, but also our fields finally are visible that they are actually growing. Beautiful, we have lots of those crops here now. So quite opposed to those poor little bushes here, we now have domesticated at least the barley and the ammo for now. The third crop is coming soon, um, so I think this will be a rich harvest. And I wonder if the droughts and stuff like that are also happening that we might lose a harvest from time to time. We'll see about that. Of course, that doesn't mean that hunting is not useful anymore. Oh, two more humans have joined, so we are barely scratching the 30 mark now. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't need any hunting anymore. We still need hunting. We still need leather, for example. We still need bones. Um, and those resources are only from the animals. And of course, meat as well. Meat is, meat is very important. So, since we do have a few humans available, and it wouldn't hurt to lose one or two if it happens, we can hunt some more dangerous animals. There's a wild horse. Let's hunt one wild horse. I usually don't like to hunt horses now. But the Mouflon here then. And yeah, we might actually also go for the first mammoth that we might go with, right? Or some more bears. There's a bear. I don't like to have bears here. They're attacking. I haven't seen any wolves or hyenas anymore in a long time. Let's see some more orange animals anywhere. There is one. And our rogue. Yeah, let's go with this one here. Let's start let's start a bit smaller. But this one here, he's adult anyway. Probably pretty old then soon. And we can hunt him. I I'm eager to see if we can actually do that. Okay, what I don't like so much is that he's actually going alone for it and he doesn't even have a bow. I mean, why are you doing this? He's alone, no bow. Is there anyone else coming? Yeah, there are actually two more coming, but seriously, you were stupid. If you're dying now, that's your own fault. And I think he's running away now. Oh, there's also been a bear killed by a wolf, sure thing. And the Orok has thus escaped. I mean, it's still here. But we should do something about it. Hopefully they're coming in together now. And with a bow. That would be pretty cool. Seriously. Going to the bear. It's the same guy again. It's an old man. Once again he has a knife. And we have 30 people. Very good. 30 people. And does get another no uh, 3 knowledge points. But still. You people. Please. Equip a bow. We do have it. The next one. Oh. Okay. They, they are dead here anyway. Still. That is painful to watch. We have the weapons. We have the technology. You can do this. And too quick for me to react. We killed an Auroch. He was attacking though. So he was attacking us. And with the first kill here of this animal. We also get another knowledge point. Pretty cool. So that is more one of the more dangerous animals. And as we can see. Gives us lots of skin and raw meat there. And since we have now 7 research points. I'm actually now finally can go for the, the thatching here. So let's do that. Thatching has been unlocked, so unlock unlocks the thatched structures, which are in general more durable and advanced than skin structures. And here we can see what we have unlocked with that, the workshop, the outfitter, the hut. So it's a pretty big tag that we have received with that. And let's just have a look at that. There is it, the hut. And as we can see, the hut is way more beautiful. Can we upgrade? It would be amazing if we could upgrade. Yes, we can actually do that. 
I love it. It needs mud though. So now we can finally also collect some mud. And yeah, we can start with upgrading the first huts here now. On the way to greatness. And let's start with those here. And as we can see, with each click, we increase the workload quite a bit. Also, the harvest is set in. It's autumn now. And people need to harvest. So I hope they prioritize this one over the upgrade. And the granary preserve food that we have unlocked now too. We should probably, yeah, a nice little area here for spaces. I like that. Um, and here we can then have, well, a granary. We should probably have that here. The granary, right? Just behind the fields. A very good looking... Oh no, actually, this is not looking so cool. Um, I like to see the granary, though. It's a nice building. Yeah, there we can have it, right here at the edge of town. Very good. That is that. What else do we have? We have the storage hut now. An upgraded one. So we could, yeah, upgrade the storage tents. I'm not doing that right away because we are already upgrading quite a lot of things there. Um, outfitted, though, it still needs the weaving... So that is something we cannot go with right away. Anything else here? Funeral, transport, dry skin, and a knowledge point. Thank you. Nope. Okay. So storing food is important then and upgrading those huts. The first one is already being upgraded here. Um, straw, knowledge point. I think with the mud then as well. And finally, after a very hard year, we now finally can harvest our first crops. And as we can see, there they are. They being brought then where? Oh, okay, right to the huts there. So people can have the green in there. Oh, and a wolf attack over here. Only got a knife, very good. But it was close, I think. No, it actually wasn't. And then a knowledge point for the wolf that we got out of this one here. Very good. And we have no space anymore for more people. So more huts then is important. But I don't want to grow so quickly anyway. I don't think it's healthy. Um, and I think those two fields are as big as possible for my village at the moment. Because I don't think we can harvest everything. I think they are kind of reaching the limit of our workforce. As we can see. Unfortunately, no Halloween yet. I would love to have some scarecrow here in the fields. Getting a bit thematic the whole thing there but well anyway it's a good it's a good harvest there some straw some ammo and as we can see they're making some flour uh, some flour right out of it and that we can then make into bread to further process it another trader has arrived again no tax really those resources they're offering me are really bad wool cloth yeah actually let's take a few of that i don't know what that is wool cloth uh, oh yeah for the outfitter then for wool outfits then probably we don't have that yet um, but still, let's trade a bit because we have way too many things in our storage anyway. Right, getting a few things here. And, alright, for the hut, they need to deconstruct the tent first. But I'm glad that this option exists, you know. Otherwise, we probably would have to destroy them and replace them. And another knowledge point here for the flower. And just look how busy the town is. So many people here. And yes, we are not able to get the ammo though. So that was my first um, try. I mean, now they're starting with it. But I think the mistake was here as well that we started with the upgrading of those huts here. Um, and right now, that is a bit too much for fall season, I think. Let's just hope that they are actually able to build the hut then as well. Or otherwise, lots of people will be outside during winter. Not the best season. Also, the granary here still needs some more. Are we actually collecting mud? I don't know. Is there a work area for that? Ah, there it is. We don't have mud yet. So we should also do that work area for the mud here. People need to start collecting it. Otherwise, they won't probably if I don't assign someone to it. And I think... Oh, there's bread. Okay. But yeah, they're really just starting to deconstruct all of the tents first before we can build it. This is not going to turn out well. Um, the last barley is being harvested now. And then we go with the ammer. I don't know. It will probably just wither with winter now. Since I just don't have the people for it. Alright, at least a, a few of them. So 
so we should also think about a rhythm in the future with each season that we can you know that we are not doing any building projects while it is spring season for the fields and not while it is harvest season during autumn otherwise we are having the problem that we're having right now that there's just way too much for my people to handle in that case even the workload is not high it seems still is something missing here I don't think so, right? We have everything here available. So they should just be building it then. And yeah, as we can see, the field then disappears automatically once it's winter. So we weren't able to finish everything. And also, did we just lose now all the crops as well? Or my harvest there? I think we did. I think because... Oh no, actually there is... Yeah, destroy at least is here in the haystacks now. But here in the granary, you need to build that as well for the food then. Alright, but I think that's it so far. We're still alive and the settlement is thriving and growing aside from a few starting mistakes there. Here also lots of space now where we can start and building something as well. Stay tuned.